Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Let's continue. So now Osman had a mentor whose name was Sheikh Adibali and he would always go to his house and stay there. One day he stayed there and he had a dream where the crescent moon would come to Adibali's chest and from there it would, it would go to Osman's chest. And then from there a massive tree came out, very, very massive. It was so massive that most of the world, like most of the entire world, was covered under its shade. And the birds were flying to an amazing city that looked like a ring. Osman wanted to wear this ring, but then he woke up. In this dream, there were four mountains and four rivers that were coming from the roots of the tree. When Osman woke up, he told his mentor, Sheikh Adabali, about the dream. And he was told by Adabali that he was about to make a, he was about to create a big, big state, a big empire that would rule lots of the world. And that that city was Constantinople. And that his successors will eventually conquer Constantinople and make it their capital. He would soon, he would soon conquer this place called Yeni Shehir, where he would make his capital, the cap, the first real capital of the Ottoman state, the Ottoman Velik. Now, here. In Yenishir, it was a very bustling city, but he had more plans. He his plans were more ambitious. He wanted to conquer Bursa, one of the most important cities in the Byzantine Empire. So, after five long, long years, when Osman was in his deathbed, he was brought news by a messenger that he had conquered Bursa, and he ordered that Bursa was to become the capital of the Ottoman Empire, the first important capital. And that he would be buried there. And his tomb still stands there today. Like if you go and visit, you can see it. His son Orhan would take over. And, he, and together, these three men, Ayatollah, Osman and Rohan, they would make such a great empire that it would last for 600 years and it would be very, very large. Hope you enjoyed. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!